Hello, in this video I want to show you something that you have been asking me about in the issue queue and this is how to get the tokens without having to go to the Drupal UI and uh, copy and paste the, the token. So for this I'm going to use the JSON API module which allows you to have uh, a different REST integration but you could do the same thing with core REST. Uh, you would only need to enable uh, the resource for the access tokens. So um, first of all I'm going to go over to the Drupal installation I'm gonna add an access token uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time and I'm gonna save and you can see that there are two access tokens so if I make a request I'm gonna get of course access denied because I'm not um, providing any credentials and I don't want to uh, expose any of the of the tokens so I get access pro, um, access denied for token 5 and token 6 so um, if I want to get information about the token I have to authenticate myself using uh, a different method in this case I'm gonna use a basic auth uh, I'm gonna provide my username and password uh, for this local installation that will create this authorization uh, header and if I click send uh, voila I have the two tokens the two token entities and you can see that in here I have the value for the token and for the refresh token down here um, so that is pretty much it um, if you want to instead create a token uh, you will need to instead of doing a get request you need to do a push request so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the authorization because uh, I want to uh, to provide the credentials of the user who is creating the token and I'm gonna paste this here but let me first uh, let me delete the tokens here so it's uh, more obvious what we are getting um, the lid. All right. So refresh just to see that there are no tokens. If I go back and do a get for the tokens, you'll see that there are no tokens at all. It's an empty array. All right. So I'm gonna do a post, and as the body, I'm gonna paste this JSON here that I'm going to explain. So basically, this is the JSON API format for. Uh, if you're using REST core, you would have to adapt the format to match that one. Um, but in this case, uh, the JSON API format reads like this. We have to have the, the access token for both the entity type and bundle. And then for the attributes, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to provide uh, my own token in here, uh, whatever value. Here I'm providing um, a timestamp. This is around a year. 2020 uh, so this should be enough so for the user ID this is the user that creates the token I'm gonna to provide the UUID of the admin user and the same UUID for the user I want to authorize to and I'm saying in here and providing the UUID for the global resource uh, if I left this empty uh, this would uh, also also work there I really don't need this so um, I'm going to just click send and it's gonna go to the server and uh, respond with an with an error saying that the format is not supported and this is because I missed here the in the header I, I missed uh, both the authorization header and the content type header. This is not uh, for the JSON API module or the simple auth module. This is a uh, generic REST. So uh, I need to provide uh, BND API JSON. This is basically uh, what, what this is doing is it's telling the server, hey, the body that I'm sending here it's uh, a JSON object that is um, encoded uh, that is encoding the JSON API format. Um, so uh, after we do this, uh, we get a, a status of created, 
and if we go over to the Drupal installation we see that there are two tokens 2020 this contains our uh, use our client side created token and uh, you can see here in the response that you get your token back uh, sorry yes um, with your token value uh, so this is pretty much it uh, it doesn't have a, a lot to it but uh, just in case you want to play uh, please provide any uh, any code that you create for accessing this using REST core because I haven't used that yet uh, thank you for watching